Welcome to another episode of Stats and Facts with Chad. I hope you stay tuned. All right, everybody. Hey, welcome to another Stats and Facts with Chad. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, so over the last couple weeks, we have seen a decline. Not unusual since uh, Christmas is right around the corner. Uh, we're at 180 pending sales, so that was a drop of 11 overall. Uh, 180 is about average what we've seen over the last few years uh, in pending sales during this time. So we're doing okay. Uh, the 115 to 215 range dropped one. We're down to 51 there. The 115 to 215 range dropped two. We're down to 40 overall in that sector. The 315 to 500 range dropped three. And that 500 plus range dropped two. We're down to 500, or excuse me, down to 16 overall there. Uh, this is my son Beckett. He has been working really hard this morning helping me with this market update. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. Good. Are you excited for Christmas? Yes. What are you anticipating under the tree this year? I'm anticipating for um, a $150 RC dyno that has a minigun on top. Awesome. All right, well, I hope you get it, buddy. One more thing I want to talk about is the housing market index. As you can see from this graph, Uh, the housing market recovery index that we've been looking at um, over the entire summer and during the pandemic. Uh, there are four components. Demand, supply, price, and time on the market. We see a slight dip, but we also see it coming back. Now, why is that important? It's important to remember right now that we've settled into a very nice market. Uh, we've seen pending deals up, showings up, purchase applications up. But the one thing we still see down is the uh, inventory. But selling into a very nice market, still above that February baseline that we saw earlier this year. If you have any questions regarding the market, please let me know. Otherwise, have a very Merry Christmas and we will see you next year.